Okay, part two, moving on. Um, so also using the angle, interior angles theorem, um, you can use it to find missing angles. So in this case, we say, okay, what should the interior angles add up to? Well, let's count the number of sides. We have one, two, three, four, five sides. This is a pentagon. So we say, okay, five minus two times 180. So we have three times 180. We know that the interior angles should add up to 540 degrees. Now understand, we haven't answered the question. This right here is the sum of the interior angles. So this is what all these angles should add up to. So we know 68 plus 121 plus 103 plus 85 plus X, right? All these angles should add up to equal 540 degrees. So sometimes you have to find out, and we did this with triangles. It was just a little bit easier because we just knew every triangle added up to 180 and it was quick. We didn't have to do this step. Um, let's go ahead and combine our like terms. So we have 68 plus 121 plus 103 plus 85. So we have 377 plus x equals 540. And we're going to subtract 377 from both sides. And I get 163 degrees. So you know that this missing angle is 163 degrees. And that's actually your final answer. So, and you can go back and check yourself and make sure that they add up to 540 because it is a pentagon. Let's try another one. Um, quadrilateral. I'm hoping you know by now quadrilateral is 360, but if you don't, you can still use the formula n minus 2 times 180. And you've got 2 times 180, which again is 360. Again, that's not your answer. That is the sum of the interior angles. All right? That's what all these angles, these four angles, should add up to. So we're going to set it up. 89 plus 5x minus 8 plus 51 plus 3x plus 4. So all four of my angles should add up to equal 360 degrees because it's a quadrilateral. Um, whew, lots of like terms here. So 5x's and 3x's, that one's not bad. You've got 8x. And then we have 89, let me get my calculator, 89 minus 8 plus 51 plus 4. And we have 136, still equal to 360. So we just did some combining like terms. Um, we're going to subtract 136 from both sides. And we'll get 8x equals 224. And then we'll divide both sides by 8 and get x equals 28. Um, and again, in this problem, I did tell you to find the value of x for these two. Um, but you could always plug it in to each of these and make sure that all your angles add up to 360. Um, but yeah, so make sure we've done triangles. Now this is just expanding it to different shapes. So that was all interior. Now we're going to move on to exterior. Exterior are way, way easier. They will always add up to 360, no matter what the shape is. So if you hear exterior angles, you know that they add up to 360. So let's read. Find the measure of each. So they want each individual exterior angle um, of the regular polygon. So we know they're all the same. So you do have to know they're all the same here. Um, so quadrilateral, we're going to take that 360 degrees because we heard exterior. And we're going to split it four ways. So each exterior angle is going to be 90 degrees. Octagon, again, since they said exterior, we're going to take that 360 degrees and we're going to split it eight ways because we have an octagon. 
So 360 divided by 8, and each one's going to get 45 degrees. So again, exterior is a lot easier. Um, always add up to 360. Um, same concept here. Notice these are all exterior angles. Um, so all, where are there? One, two, three, four, five, six of them. So it's a hexagon. All six of them should add up to equal 360. So we're going to set it up. 47 plus 93 plus 46 plus 3x plus 62 plus 4x. Did I get all of them? Yeah. Has to equal 360 because they're all exterior. Um, lots of like terms here. 4x's and 3x's is 7x. We got 47, 93, 46, 62. Let's add all those up. So we've got 47 plus 93 plus 46 and 62. So we got 248 over here, combining like terms. And then we're going to subtract 248 from both sides. So we get 7x equals 112. And we're going to divide by 7 and we get x equals 16. And again, this did ask for the value of x, so we're done. So this one's 16. Um, if you had to find this angle, you would do 3 times 16. If you had to find this angle, 4 times 16. Um, but again, always add up to 360. And that's your homework. Uh, make sure you show all of your work, especially, I mean, I want to see this, guys. Okay. Even if you're doing this in your calculator, I want to see that work. So I want to see the 360 divided by 8. If you just have numbers, I'm not giving you credit. All right. Bye, guys.